please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Jupiter. I'm Ray Ray, and I have your news for Wednesday, April 5th, 2023. For the student selfie of the day, we have McKenna Kovacek. She's a freshman and plays varsity lacrosse. She likes to surf and she also likes to sleep. Congratulations to Coach Blasky and the JV's girls softball team for completing an undefeated season. The girls on the team were Captain Jade Renzi, Elise Brandt, London Gomes, Maria Leone, Lily Ozendez, Amanda Pagnanelli, Madison Peak, Abby White, and Ava Wood. We are very proud of their effort, enthusiasm, and team spirit. Great job, girls. Pep Rally wristband distribution will take place today and Monday, April 10th. Distribution will be in the SJ Courtyard during both lunches. Students must have all obligations paid in order to receive a wristband. Calling all writers and artists. The deadline for this semester's Info Magazine submissions is Monday, April 10th. If you still have any artwork, writing, or photography you would like to submit, please scan the QR code on the screen or join the Google Classroom. Seniors attending UF, the 2023 Palm Beach County Gator Club Scholarship application is due this Friday. The next COPS Teens Talk is on April 11th from 315 to 415. Letters for Rose, come to the club's last meeting of the school year. LFR aims to reduce loneliness among elders by creating and distributing personalized letters to local nursing homes. One hour of community service will be given for your time spent writing each letter. Our last meeting is on Monday, April 10th at 2.50 in Ms. Ellis' room, 4118. Anyone is welcome to join. We'll be talking more about officer positions for next school year, followed by our last ever letter workshop. Reminder to class of 2023 SSHS members, please pay your $10 dues on cashless schools by Friday, April 7th. We'll be ordering cords and only dues paying members will get a cord for graduation. Student ACES will meet tomorrow during both lunches, lunch A in the gym and lunch B in Purple 32. If you'd like to do a little research before the discussion, we'll be talking about the recent events at the Women's Basketball NCAA Tournament. Attention seniors, please nominate a royal couple to represent the Jupiter High School prom king, queen, and royalty for the class of 2023 Submit the form posted on the Class of 2023 Google Classroom page by Thursday, April 6, 2023, at 12.15 p.m. Final voting will take place on prom night. Boys lacrosse plays today at home against Benjamin. The JV game starts at 5 p.m. and varsity begins at approximately 7 p.m. Tickets can be purchased on GoFan. This is the last home game of the regular season, so come out and support your Warriors. FFEA, Book Drive. Donate new children's books to Portable 30 to support the Chase a Dream Hospital Backpack Program. You will earn community service for your time spent collecting the items. The Cook and Bake Club is hosting a spring bake sale this Thursday, April 6. They will be selling chocolate chip and Easter themed sugar cookies in the courtyard during both A and B lunch, cash only. Stop by if you want to support the club and buy delicious treats. We hope to see you there. Best Buddies, Members and Future Members. Officer applications are still available. You can find them on the Google Classroom as well as the QR code posted around school. All applications are due by Friday the 14th. Attention all students. Best Buddies is excited to announce that this Friday, April 7th, we are doing a fundraising night with Bolay. Stop by the Bolay on Indian Town Road anytime from 12 to 8 p.m. and let them know when you are paying that you are supporting Best Buddies at Jupiter High School. Bolay has many meatless or vegetarian options for those families that are reserving the religious holiday. We hope to see you there. Come out to Drama Club's production of Little Woman on Thursday, April 20th at 7 p.m. and Saturday, April 22nd at 2 p.m. Tickets are $10 for students and $15 for general admission. Tickets can be purchased on GoFan.co. Remember, that's GoFan.co, not GoFan.com. Go to the Performing Arts tab and then find the performance dates for Little Woman. See you there. Calling all gamers interested in being a part of the JHS eSports program. All members of the program must take an eSports elective next year. Please complete this form by April 7th to be considered. Here's a special announcement from the guidance department. 
As you know, prom is a little less than three weeks away. Do you feel like you're running out of time? Running out of money to find a dress? Have you looked so long that all the dresses have started to look the same? Consider shopping at our Helping Hands Dress Boutique and finding one here. We have over 50 gently used beautiful prom dresses in all sizes and we would love for you to have one if you're still in need. You can shop any day next week after school from 3 to 4 in guidance or you can email me for a private viewing at amy.hand at palmbeachschools.org. Your dress may be here. You just need to come find it. Nice dresses, ladies. Join the T1D Warriors Club to support the research to end type 1 diabetes, a disorder where the pancreas is unable to supply the body with insulin in order to balance sugar, blood sugar levels. The purpose of T1D Warriors is to engage in the idea of kids supporting kids. There will be community service opportunities presented at each meeting. Our first meeting is today in room 4110 during lunch B. Everyone is welcome. HOSA, attention all members. There will be a mandatory meeting next Thursday, April 6, for students competing at the state conference. The meeting will take place during both lunches in 7101. Again, all competitors must attend this meeting. And your birthdays of the day. Happy birthday to Bo Bergsma Rozelle, Logan Bonato, Kylie Bugis, Luke Collins, Emily Fishman, Katie Mobady Gatz, William Gatz, Peyton Selechik, Logan Sunser, and Brady Toher. Happy birthday. Stay tuned for Wellness Wednesday's life skill lesson on responsible decision making and have a great day, Warriors. Did you know that the way you eat, move, and sleep can actually impact your mood? There's a lot of information out there, and sometimes it can be hard to know how to make changes to improve your well being. So, we've reviewed trusted resources and worked with youth and other experts so that we can share some of the tips that we found useful. Eating. We know, we've all heard that we're supposed to be eating healthy, but what does that really mean and how can you actually make this work for you? Start by visualizing your plate and think about the ways that you can get the nutrients you need. Something like this. If you're just starting to cook at home, give yourself a break because it can be a bit of a disaster. Thankfully, there are a lot of easy recipes online. Go down the YouTube rabbit hole and see what you can find. Don't worry, you don't have to give up all the foods you love. Even changing your habits a little bit can make a difference. And stay hydrated. Drink water when you're thirsty instead of sugary drinks. And try using a phone app to track how much water you're drinking to reach your goals. Movement. As important as regular exercise is for your physical health, it can also have mood boosting powers. It's recommended to exercise three times a week for 45 to 60 minutes each time. And while that may seem daunting, there are simple ways that you can incorporate exercise into your life. You might have to try a few different things until you find one you actually enjoy. Keep in mind, the gym isn't the only place where you can exercise. Whatever works for you, as long as it gets your heart pumping. We might get so pumped about exercising and set unrealistic goals that leave us feeling down and defeated if we don't achieve them. Set reasonable expectations, and be proud of yourself for your accomplishments, no matter how big or small. Scheduling time to work out and putting it in your phone might be a good way to hold yourself accountable. Sometimes people can have complicated relationships with food and exercise, or even experience challenges with an eating disorder. These tips may not apply to you. If you want more support, talk to the people you trust, or a doctor, to find other ways that you can improve your well-being. Sleep. Have you ever had one of those nights where you just can't fall asleep no matter how many sheep you count? Or you find yourself glued to your pillow all morning? You're not alone. Sleep is something that many people struggle with. While there's nothing better than sleeping in after a late night watching Netflix, it's best to try and wake up and go to sleep at the same times every day. Open your blinds as soon as you wake up in the morning. The natural light will tell your brain the day has started. And try not to regularly nap during the day. As good as that nap may feel, it'll rob you of your sleep later. Same thing with caffeine. We know it's nice to have a coffee to keep you going or a pop with dinner, but try to avoid caffeine after 2 p.m. It lasts in the body for a long time and blocks a chemical that your brain needs to sleep well. 
As your body gets ready for bed, it's important to create a routine to wind down for the night. Phones emit blue light, which may make it harder to fall asleep. Most phones have a blue light filter that you can switch on. Why not try it? It may help your brain to get ready for sleep and can be a cue to put your phone down for the night. Fill your routine with relaxing activities. Read a book, take a warm shower, or try meditating and make sure your room is dark. Whatever your routine is, use the same one every night. And on the nights where nothing seems to work, take some time to breathe. <sighs> Remember, it takes time for new habits to stick. So give yourself a break and do what works best for you. Practicing these things together can have a positive impact on your mood. If you have other ways to support your mental health, tell us in the comments. And check out our video on depression here. Thanks for watching.